A more casual version of a killer respiratory illness that afflicts the elderly or those with weak resistance has made encore manifestations this year, though few and far between. Walking pneumonia has been detected at least four times since the start of the year, as our Mark Fatalko tells us more about it in this report. All four confirmed cases of walking pneumonia in the Philippines this year have already recovered. This is what the Department of Health clarified following a report that four of the cases of influenza-like illness or ILI in the country in 2023 are mycoplasma pneumonia. This includes one in January, one in July, and two in September. According to DOH, only less than 1% of the confirmed ILI cases this year were due to mycoplasma pneumonia or walking pneumonia. The agency added that its detection is not new in the country. In fact, mycoplasma pneumonia is a known and common pathogen that has been detected in the country using different methods. Its symptoms include fever, sore throat, and cough, and causes different infections such as colds and pneumonia. All age groups can be affected, especially those with weak immune systems and living in closed settings. While young children may have cold-like symptoms, the DOH assured that Filipino doctors and medical personnel in our hospitals have the capacity to treat such illness. Mycoplasma pneumonia was first reported in China where the number of children affected by the disease has increased, along with the spread of other commonly detected pathogens such as RSV, adenovirus, and influenza. Despite the rising cases of respiratory illnesses in China and other countries, Health Secretary Ted Herbosa assured no outbreak of mycoplasma pneumonia has taken place in the country as of yet. The DOH reminded the public to wash their hands regularly, wear a mask, ensure adequate ventilation, and update their immunizations to prevent the transmission of mycoplasma pneumonia and other respiratory pathogens. Mark Fetalco for the nation.